Hello, Marvelites! You are watching a special edition of Marvel's Pull List presented by Castle Fine Art. I'm Ryan Panagos, aka Agent M, and here on the show, we read every single Marvel comic every week. We pick a couple that we want you to check out, and this week we have three. They're huge. They are incredible, immortal. They are so many things, and we're gonna start off with a big one, which is Juggernaut number one. Yes, Juggernaut is a big boy, and the first issue of this limited series is written by Fabian Nicieza, with art by Ron Garney and Matt Mila. In this issue, we pick up two stories for Juggernaut, one of what happened to him in the past when he was thrown to limbo, when he lost his powers, lost some of his mojo, so to speak, and how he gets there. We don't get the full story this issue, but we will learn as the story progresses. We also see Juggernaut now where he's tearing down buildings, using his skills for good, but he meets up with some new characters. He's actually trying to help people, which is really, really cool. But in the future of this series, I think he's gonna be going up against the Incredible Hulk. We'll see how that goes for him. Mila Juggernaut was big, oh boy! Ten of Swords creation number one is way bigger. It is huge in every sense of the word. It's over 60 pages long. Written by Jonathan Hickman and Teeny Howard with art by Pepe Larraz and Marte Gracia. And you guys, it is jam packed with characters, with big moments, with uh, fools being sliced and diced, with weird stuff, with really cool character designs. And look, I, I didn't know anything about tarot cards before getting into this. There's a lot of tarot card stuff and it rules. It's really, really neat. Also, yes, there are a ton of swords in this issue. You get to learn about what the 10 of swords are and we get a sense of what they mean for the mutants throughout this story and what it's gonna mean for the next 21 parts. Yes, Ten of Swords is gonna be a huge, massive story over the next bunch of weeks. Get hyped for it, it's coming for you this week. Now we have one more book to talk about, that's Immortal She-Hulk, number one. The title of this story is The Three Deaths of Jennifer Walters. It's by Al Ewing, with art by John Davis Hunt and Marcio Menes. It is dark and weird, and it explores not only Jennifer Walters' history as the Hulk, from her origins to many of her battles, it also touches on, yes, her deaths. She has died several times, and we get into what happens after she dies. If you know you're a mortal Hulk, it's weird, it's dark. And I freaking loved this issue. It's messed up, gorgeous art, really messed up character designs, and maybe my favorite scene of Wolverine in a bar this week. You'll have to read the issue to find out more. All right, so Immortal She-Hulk was our third and final comic this week, but if you need even more Hulk action, let's talk about Castle Fine Art. Mention them at the top of the show, and they are creating limited edition artworks from Marvel Comics covers, amazing Marvel Comics covers. And the cool thing about these limited edition artworks is that they are signed by Stan Lee. They are produced on incredible high quality paper, and they are framed lovingly handcrafted, really, really cool frames. All of this put together, but what's inside? Of course, wonderful Marvel Comics covers, including a bunch featuring the Hulk, such as Avengers number one, Incredible Hulk number 307, Incredible Hulk number 152, Avengers number 67, and one of my all-time favorites, Incredible Hulk number one, the original. So good. Let us know if you are getting these. You can go to castlefineart.com to pick up your own and you can follow them at Castle Galleries on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, all your places that you're at. So get your comics, get your cool pieces of art, let us know what you think. And of course, if you want to hear more about this week's comics, you can check out Marvel's Pull List, the podcast edition, wherever you get your audio. I'll see you again real soon. I'm Ryan and this is Marvel, your universe.